In this video, I want to quickly tell you something about the five roles that I introduced in my online workshop to make it a success. Now, a lot has been said about online workshops these days, and I was doing one about journey mapping. I did a journey mapping bootcamp, and in preparation, um, I did something that I think uh, greatly contributed to the experience and the value of the workshop. So, what I did is I invited four other people to the session and I gave them different roles. And I think these roles are super important and a lot of people forget them and they just th think, well, an online workshop is where you hang out on uh, Zoom, show some slides, maybe do something in Miro, and that can be done by one person. And I think if you try to do it on your own, it's really hard. So here are the five, five roles that I had in my session. I, of course, had a facilitator of the session. That was me. I had a participant, a research subject, a person who, in this case, I was doing it around journey mapping, who was going to share her story about a um, service. So those are, of course, two key roles. But there are three other roles that were super important. Um, two people were going to make the journey map in my workshop. So one person was going to capture what was being said uh, on virtual post-it. So they were listening to the conversation I was having with the research uh, subject and writing it down. And the other person was taking uh, the virtual post-its and giving them, uh, putting them on the right spot on, on the canvas in this case. So what that allowed it to do is for me, you have a really natural conversation with the person without having to focus on the template, on what's on the board and uh, really be in the moment. And the uh, last role that we had was somebody who was paying attention to the uh, chat. So getting questions uh, in front of me, uh, getting insights, basically making sure again that as a facilitator I can focus on uh, interacting with the research subject, the person, the participant, and not have to worry about the chat, not have to worry about capturing everything. And I think this worked extremely well because what happened is speed went up. Uh, people uh, who were in the room were seeing a journey map come to life on their screen uh, without me interacting. So the pace was really fast and we managed to do this, I think, in 45 minutes and it gave us time to do our Q&A at the end. So just to recap, I think it's really smart to have five roles in your workshop. Have some, have a facilitator, of course, have a participant, have somebody who's capturing the conversation, have somebody who's structuring uh, the information on your board. And the fifth one is make sure that somebody is watching the chat and interacting with the people who are not there. This is what worked for me. Have you tried something? Are you using different roles in online workshops or are you trying to do it on your own and what are your best practices let me know i'd love to know leave a comment on this video and i'll see you in the next one